Breakfast time at San Quentin is a carefully regimented operation where more than 2,000 inmates are fed in a series of 20-minute sittings and given brown bag lunches to eat later in their cells. I was going to be eating with two of the members of the Barbarian Brotherhood who I'd met in Yard. I was hoping to learn more about the way the gangs work inside prison and looking forward to my first taste of prison food. What is this? That's like potato. Shit. Potatoes, what's this? It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be SOS, like, like gravy. Gravy? Do you see the, the politics of the place right now? Yeah, it's all, there's all blacks at one table, all whites at one table. Everybody keeps an eye on watches. Like, I watch kids. I see anybody like taking trays or food off of other people's trays. I've been watching that shit. If you were black and you offered me some of that food, I couldn't take it. Really? Why? It's just part of the rules, man. Prison yeah. rules? If you, if you did, you'd get beat up. Who would beat you up? Me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. You would really do that? Yeah. We'd have to get you. What would you do? We'd tell you not to do it first, and then we'd get you. How? Probably just we'd mob you. Like, like two or three dudes would just attack you. Three dudes would come up and attack me? And do what? Pummel me? Punch me? How bad? Until the cops stop them. You really mean that? You really mean that? Yeah. Why would you do that? Tell them, Nick. This is how it is. Hungry, man. It was hard to believe they could be so brutal about something so trivial. But I wondered if these strange codes of conduct were a way of creating gang loyalty and camaraderie in surroundings designed to keep inmates apart. So what, what's the what's the plan now? You go back to your cell? Yeah, for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. See you later, guys.